Hi, my amazing planner friends. It's Jess from my Magical Planner. And today we're going to be setting up my weekly actions in my Moxie Life Companion Notebook for the week of June 10th through the 16th. And I do this just with a pen and the Moxie Life dot markers most weeks. Occasionally I'll bring in some stickers, but for the most part, this is very functional. So before we get into this week, we're going to go over last week's goals and how they went. And then I'll walk you through my reflections. Last week, my goals for personal, which are working towards my self-confidence goal for the month, it was to do hair and makeup daily and find a worksheet to help me with strengths. So the hair and makeup daily didn't happen daily. I had a couple of days where I just felt very sick. And so on those days, it didn't happen. But on the days that I was feeling okay, it did happen. So I gave myself partial credit. And then I did find a worksheet to help me with strengths and stuff, um, which is, it's called strength exploration. And um, it was from therapist aid, if you guys are interested in this. Um, and it just, it's a couple of pages to kind of walk me through stuff. And I'm hoping to do this this week. So I have that. For fun and recreation, I have like my overall goal is to do a day trip with my family, but I do have a personal goal in here too. So the first goal here was listen to a new mystery book, which was a suggestion from Audible, which is how I listen to my books. And it was Home is Where the Bodies Are. So <laughs> I am listening to it. I'm about halfway through and I'm undecided if I like it or not, but I have, I I have been listening to it while I go for my walks, which I think is good. So I checked that one off. Um, find a day for the day trip. So I found two different days that could potentially work. And then I came up with, I think, four different options of things that we could do. Um, some of them are shorter options, just an hour or two. And some of them are a little bit longer. And I'm going to let the kids kind of have some input on that. For work and learning, make a list of the content I enjoy slash am proud of. So my overall goal is to go back to the purpose of my videos and make sure I'm making content that energizes me and is fulfilling. So I, I made a brief list, but I feel like it needs to be, I need to pay more attention to it essentially. Um, but I needed to do the initial step of just really thinking about it first before I made that list. So I still gave myself credit there. Um, I did give it like I do a slash if it's partial credit and a check mark if I completely checked it off. So I just gave myself partial credit there. Work on a schedule. I did work on it. It didn't go completely as planned. Like I have an idea of the schedule. I think it'll work, but I, um, I had some sick days. So it wasn't as good as it could have been. And I didn't get content out very well this week because of not feeling well and a couple of other things going on. So um, as far as family relationships, make a list of friends. I did not do that yet. I, I've been thinking about it a little bit, but I haven't actually made it. Um, and setting up two get togethers. I set up one, but not two. So partial credit. And then for health and wellness, my overall like monthly goal is to feel better. And I have some goals under that um, as far as like exercise, water intake and that kind of thing. So my first goal here was two cans of soda daily before 2 p.m. I realized very quickly that I needed to adjust that goal because I wasn't going to be able to make like make that big of a step down in my soda intake. So I changed it here to three. I just gave myself a little dash and a three up there. And I was able to do that all week. So instead of saying, oh, I'm just gonna lose and throw it away, I made a, I think it was Tuesday, I made that adjustment so that I, I could still maintain something and I didn't feel like I was losing, but I could make that adjustment easily. Morning walks are continuing to work. Um, again, I'm not doing them every day, but I am doing them most days at this point. Um, and I'm tracking how far I go. And each week I try to add a little bit further onto my walk. So that's working. CPAP I gave myself because I have sleep apnea. 
So I gave myself partial credit on this. Um, I talked about this last week where I have, after being in the hospital for so long, um, it was, it's been hard for me to use a CPAP again, but I did use it at least three days this week, which is better than it's been. So I'm just going to continue to work on that. And I know it's going to be a bit of a stretch goal for me because I have to overcome that anxiety, but I'm, it, as long as I continue to work on it, I think it'll get better. Um, as far as personal growth, um, I did do some research on hashtags, which kind of goes with work and learning, but for me, I need to be learning something. And so I thought personal growth would go with that. Um, I also had an inspirational talk down here, but I didn't do that one. So as far as finance and everything, my goal was to kind of get all of the base work to do a budget worksheet. The problem with that is I need my husband to have time to sit down with me and go over those things. And he just didn't this week. And so I wasn't able to complete those. I need list of what I think everything should be, but I don't have actual numbers to put in there. For physical environment, this month, my goal is to work outside and do some yard type beautification and cleanup type stuff because Last year with me being sick, nothing happened. And the year before it was very minimal. And so there's a lot of things that have to happen up there. So I did have on here a clean garage because we had emptied a bunch of things out for Jarrett's new office. Jarrett's my husband. And he had been storing a lot of things for his fiber business in the garage. And now he has an actual space for that, which is super exciting. But um, I didn't get to that because of the sick days. So... Um, I, that one's not checked off Saturday weeding. So every Saturday I get an hour of my children's time to do something to gather outside to help with house maintenance. This week was weeding in the front of my house. Um, that overall went really well. I had some issues with the girls. They don't really like to do work. It's an autism thing. <laughs> okay. It's a kid thing, but, um, we did get that done and it looks a lot better. Um, the chore check-ins, I, I did do that. So with, with everything that's been happening in our family, so the kids didn't have real chores for the last year because I wasn't up to the follow-up that needs to happen with that. So we're relearning some things. And the, the week before last was the first week with chores. And so we had to do some adjustment with the chores that week. This week, we implemented some consequences for not doing your chores. And this coming week, we're going to have to make some adjustments on that. And we'll go over that with the reflections. But overall, I, I checked in and we had a system for the consequences. So I, I checked that off. So that's everything from last week. As far as our reflections. So in this, we go over wins, what worked, what didn't work, lessons learned, and adjustments needed. So the wins I put down for this week were the walks, the Saturday weeding, the fact that I'm able to do a new book, which was good, um, work on YouTube slash research that actually happened, which made it too, and cutting back on my soda. I counted it as a win. What, um, what worked the daily to do's is what's making all of that happen, you know, possible for me. Cause otherwise I I'm a little scattered. Um, having downtime when I didn't feel well was really important so that I could recuperate faster. Um, the kid one on our Saturday time and family time are really working. What didn't work this week is kids had chores um, and consequences, but they they need to they need to better understand what my expectations are there. Um, I tried to do too much and got a little overwhelmed with the amount of things on my checklist. Um, YouTube posting just didn't happen this week. I mean, I think I got one video out um, instead of the three I would like to get out. And I need to, I think, evaluate whether or not three is really practical. Um, and then they, I had an issue with my allergies and energy. You might hear it still in my voice um, after weeding yesterday. Um, I broke out in a rash. I had an asthma attack. <laughs> like things, like it's, I'm not a, I'm a kind of a sickly person. I'll, I'll be honest. And 
I don't know if that comes with the red hair or what, but I have to be a little bit more cautious about things. It's nothing like I haven't been diagnosed with something chronic. Well, kind of. I have chronic stomach issues, but I don't have like an autoimmune diagnosis or anything like that. Um, so lessons. So I have put down here, kids need to know my expectations. That's going to be a win-win for both of us, because if they don't understand their expectations, then how can I expect them to clean at the standard that I want them to? So, um, weeding caused mass allergy reaction for me. So I need to be a little bit more careful in doing some of the outdoor things. Um, Emily needs to work on being able to do things without like just telling her to weed in the garden. She didn't know what to do. So she just paced back and forth. And so we need to work on her being able to go, okay, mom wants me to weed or mom wants me to pick up this area and figuring out how to, to do that because she just doesn't know what to do. And so I'm going to, I think, talk with my therapist because Emily has autism. Um, she is a very quote high functioning autism, um, person, but she has some challenges she needs to overcome, obviously. So we need to figure out how to start tackling that because that's going to be really important for her to be able to, as she gets older, um, be able to be a functional adult. Um, we not, we might not. Okay. So with the day trip stuff, originally I wanted to go, you know, somewhere further away, you know, a couple hours or something and do something and come back. Um, the realization I had was that with all of the other things going on this month, that that is probably not practical. What is practical is doing something closer to home. Some of the ideas I came up with, um, are strawberry picking, going to the movies, um, going to the lake for a morning, those type of things, but they're not like huge day trips. And I think that's going to be more practical for my ADHD slash autism kids who might feel overwhelmed with going further. So we'll start small. Maybe next month we'll be able to do something a little bigger. Um, and I got overwhelmed by too many things on my actions, especially with having some down days. So figuring out a balance there is important. Adjustments. So um, for the kids to make sure they know my expectations, I'm going to make a list of the cleaning tasks that I want them to complete for each area. So we have a big whiteboard in our kitchen and one, we have like one hanging on the wall that has all their chores and a wall that is painted with whiteboard paint. So on the wall with the whiteboard paint, since um, things move every week, at least for the time being, I'm going to list each room and what my expectations are for that room so that they have that, they can reference it if they need to. And I think that's going to help. Um, find ways to challenge Emily to learn how to break down task on her own. Um, I think that's going to be something I need to add in because I think that needs to happen now and I don't want it to fall off the radar. Um, in less actions for this week, especially considering this week is going to be a much busier week. Okay, so let's jump into June actions for the week of the 10th through the 16th. I have my Moxie Life markers here. These are the dot markers. So they have a dot on end on one end, and then they also have a kind of finer tip marker on the other. And I mostly just use the dot end. So, and these are from Moxie Life, so the colors mostly match. So for personal, I'm going to give myself, I think I'm still going to do two. And what I'm going to do, and I just have a Sharpie inner gel here. So last week I found the worksheet on my strengths to help with everything. So this week I'm going to try and fill out half of the strengths worksheet. And one thing I noticed with trying to do my hair and makeup daily is that I was, I was getting a little stuck on my outfit. And if I, my outfit didn't seem 
good enough, then it felt like a waste to do my hair and makeup. So to kind of lessen that burden on me, I'm going to try and pick out my outfit the night before and see how that goes. For fun and recreation, I'm going to give myself two. One is going with that personal goal to finish my audiobook. And the second one is to do the poll with kids on outing. And see what they want to do and what day works best with for them, especially for like, you know, my 19 year old and my 17 year old who work and have friend stuff that they do um, and kind of have their own schedules. So making sure that we can coordinate times because I have a I think it's a Saturday and a Wednesday, which are the two days that they're generally home for work and learning. Um, I'm going to give myself two again. Um, I am giving myself, I think, about the same amount of tasks as I did last week, but the tasks are smaller and easier. So for work and learning, um, I want to spend some time looking for uh, worksheets, looking for worksheets on purpose. For YouTube because I know they're out there and then I also want to make a list of content I find inspiring okay for family and relationship my focus is on friendships this month but I feel like actually there's going to be three things here and some of these are things that I just need to tackle it may not be related to my overall goal of focusing on friendships this month but the first one is which so I made one arrangement to have an outing with a friend this month and I wanted to set up at least one more so one more friend outing. All right. The other two are going to be related to my girls. The first of which is Emily task for breakdown. And then the other one is Megan came to me and she was like, mom, I don't feel as comfortable with my therapist as I used to. I think I would like to switch therapist or stop seeing this therapist at the very least. So I'm going to start doing some legwork as far as that goes. So I'm going to put Meg therapist. So both Mo Emily and Megan are my, they're on the autism type spectrum. Um, Emily has anxiety. Megan has things like OCD and um, ADHD. And so the combination is really hard for her. And so we've been working with medications and therapy to try and just give her the tools that she needs to control those things. So that's where that is for health and wellness. This is the one color that I feel like doesn't necessarily match as well, by the way. So I'm giving myself three again. So last week we were doing three cans of soda. We're going to try and do two this week now. Two sodas per day. There. And I'm going to continue to put walks on here. Because my go overall goal for the year actually is to be able to do a 5K again. I would ideally like to be able to do it in under an hour. Which I might be able to do at this point if I stretch, um, but I want to be able to do
do that. And I think I may actually, with the progress I'm making, be able to do it by the end of the summer. So that's a, a big goal. And then the third one is to continue to work with myself on the CPAP nightly. For spiritual and personal growth, um, I think I'm just going to give myself one this week. And that is to watch a TED Talk for inspiration. Now, my husband is out of town, so finance is really hard to tackle without him here because he is the main person who has, you know, worked on that. And my goal is to just be more involved and knowledgeable about it. So I think I'm going to look for a budget worksheet or planner that I think will work for me. I'm not sure which one of those is going to work better, but I'm going to explore my options and see what's out there um, and see if we can do stuff. Okay. And then for physical environment, which my, my goal is my yard this month. So the, the, oh, actually do I need three? Hold on. So the first one is the check-in for chores for the kids. I'm going to continue to make sure that that's on my to-do list and the one hour Saturday pickup. And I think this week we might do like an all day bonfire and burn some things because we have a lot of like down tree limbs and things like that. And we live out in the country and we have a large amount of land. And so that might make sense. But before I put it in here, I want to, I actually want to walk, walk around the yard and see what's going to be most beneficial. So, cause I might move that off to another week and maybe this week we work on the deck area. So, um, but we also, we have a wedding the day before and I don't want to overwhelm people. So I'm going to give them a couple of options and see what they want to do. But that is all of my actions for the week. I don't want to overwhelm us because we're the last week at school. Um, Megan has a trip with her class, um, to finish up the, the school year. We have eighth grade, um, like awards night type thing. We have, my husband out of town, we have a wedding. It's just a lot. So this I think is going to be more than enough to keep me busy for the week. <laughs> All right. So that's everything for now. And I'll see you guys real soon. Until next time.